Cock Dash. This is your brother El Dayathan back at you with another video. I want to say double honor to the apostles at Great Millstone. Hey, this is a quick hit. I want to go into Isaiah chapter 6, the 13th chapter. Excuse me, Isaiah, the 6th chapter, 13th verse. And it reads, But yet in it shall be a tenth, and it shall return and shall be eaten as a teal tree and as an oak whose substance is in them when they cast their leaves so shall the holy seed be the substance thereof now we tell you brothers and your sisters all the time that the remnant that make it through the destruction on this side they're going to be the ones to bring forth the entire nation of Israel into the kingdom of heaven they're known as the first fruits in the scriptures, the first fruits, meaning after Yahweh Shai, there were the first spirits created. The first fruits is the elect seed, the elect spirits that were given this truth. So they are going to be the first to enjoy the kingdom of heaven. They're going to establish the kingdom of heaven, and the entire nation of Israel is going to be built upon them. And this is what this is going into. So let me break it down through the spirit. It says, but yet in it shall be a tenth. Now this is going to the nation of Israel. In it shall be a tenth and it shall return. In other words, the Most High is going to preserve a portion of Israel. Okay, so let me get a scripture. Now this is uh, Isaiah 1 and 9. It says, except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. <clears throat> Sodom and Gomorrah was completely completely destroyed. So unless the Most High set, set aside a remnant of special elect men of Israel, the entire nation of Israel would have ended up like Sodom and Gomorrah did. Okay? Verse, this is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time, and this is with the chariots, during the nuclear destruction, to recover the remnant, the leftover, the, the ones that were put aside of his people, the one that were, ones that were preserved, uh, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathos and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea, because the elect of Israel have been scattered throughout all the four corners of the earth. Think of this truth. Think of the nation of Israel as something you put in your refrigerator that has an expiration date that can go bad. And think of the truth as a preservative. The preservative prevents that thing from going bad. The elect of Israel has this truth, which is the preservative, so that they don't go rotten. But the rest of the nation of Israel, the Most High did not bless them. And when you read up in Isaiah 6, around the 9th and the 10th verse, it goes into that. The Most High actually sent an angel out to block these people's understanding. And he left a remnant that shall understand. So let's go back to Isaiah 6. But it shall, but yet in it shall be a tenth. Okay, that's the elect, the remnant. And it shall return and shall be eaten as a teal tree is an, as, as an oak. And what that means is that the Most High was going to send the curses upon the nation of Israel through means of famine, through means of sword, through means of different captivities that we have endured. We're in captivity until this day. Okay, and um, let's go to Ezekiel uh, 22 and 31. Bear with me for a moment. Ezekiel 22, and let's go to 31st verse. It says, Therefore have I poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their head, saith the Lord Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so when the Most High said it was eaten, meaning the Most High sent to other nations, and they ate us up. They took uh, all the work of our hands. They took our women. They turned everything against us. But these are through the curses of the Most High found in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. So let's go back to Isaiah. Okay, and let me read on. It says, But yet in it shall be a tenth, and it shall return, and shall be eaten as a teal tree, and as an, yoke, as an oak, whose substance is in them. When they cast their leaves, so shall the holy seed be the substance thereof. Now, 
when you read other variations of the scriptures of, uh, of this verse, like uh, the New King's James and the New International Version and all that, what it says there is that Israel is going to be like a tree that was cut down, but the stump was left. Okay? Now, what it says here in the King James, it says, as a teal and as an oak whose substance is in them when they shall cast their leaves. Now, if you check out a teal tree and an oak tree, when they shed their leaves, the leaves have seeds in them. So what the Most High said it was that he's going to make the tree, the Most High refers to it as a noble tree. He's going to make the tree of Israel bear. He cast off all the leaves, but he left a holy seed. And that holy seed is going to bring back, the, going to bring the tree back, but a righteous tree. Because it's going to sprout forth from the holy seed that the Most High left. Known as also the first fruits. He said, whose substance is in them, when they cast their leaves, so the holy seed, which is the elect, the remnant, that tenth, when it spoke up there about, but yet in it shall be a tenth, that's the holy seed. So the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. Now I'm going to Revelation, and we're going to go into the first fruits. Give me one second. You what I was saying. Now this is a book of Revelation. I look fourteen and four. It says, "These are they which were not defiled with women." Talking about the elect again, for they are virgins. These are they which were, which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High Yahweh and to the Lamb which is Yahweh Shai. Right now. 1 Corinthians 15 and 20 says this But now is Yahweh Shai risen from the dead And become the first fruit of them that slept Because when you want to get technical Because you go into the book of Romans The 11th chapter right Romans the 11th chapter says this And then we're going to shut it down On the Romans 11 probably Romans 11 Says this Give me one second, give me one second. Okay, so let's go to, I'm going to go to the point, verse 16. For if the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Okay, now when you go into Romans 11 chapter, um, Paul, he was really, he was speaking to the, to the, uh, the, um, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, because they denounced, or they cast away the Israelite foreigners. Now, what Yahweh Shai did is Yahweh Shai went to the tents of Judah first. He went to the Pharisees, the Sadducees. He debated them. He went to the tents of Judah, and they denounced them. Why did he go to them? Because they were supposed they were the first fruits. They were the ones that were both that were keeping the law, statutes, commandments. Them, they, within them, contained the head of Israel. But since they denounced Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai then went to the leaves of the branches that were casted off, which were the Gentiles. And, but, through Yahweh Shai, those Gentiles have become first fruits through Yahweh Shai. And this is why I read the scripture where it says Yahweh Shai became the first fruit. The first of the first fruits. So, anyway, um, brothers and sisters, um, let me see if there's anything I want to read here before I uh, close this out. Um, it says, for the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy, and if the root be holy, so are the branches. So are the branches. And this is why that holy seed I was spoken about is Isaiah 6 and 9. This is why the Most High has preserved them. So in the kingdom of heaven, that holy seed will bring back the branches, will bring back the tree, and Israel should be a, no, a holy and noble vine again because the lump or the, the seed which is sprouted from was holy, which all begins with Yahweh Shai, the first fruit into the elect. And we're down to say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim and to the next time. Shalom.